Hi there, so I'm going to talk about these two books. So this is my Yamaha book. So this is for fundamentals examination. This is your for uh, books for five, four, and three. So the grade level uh, is different with Yamaha. Everything goes down instead of up. So uh, when uh, in others, we usually go up one, two, three, right? They go down five, four, three. Okay, so uh, this is for advanced. So after you go, for example, you go grade eight, right? And then you go with this one. So this is like after that. Okay, so the first one here is your uh, practical book. So this is like your past examination exercises. Okay, I'm just going to show you. Most of everything here is in Japanese, you can see, but they do translate it to English so we know what it is, right? Okay, so this is your index, see, from 5 and then 4 and then 3. And they all have the same thing here. So melody singing, melody singing with accompaniment, and accompaniment, and then transposition. So this is kind of like a have to in Yamaha. Uh, you have to be able to uh, singing and singing with playing and just accompanying and transpose uh, all at once, like uh, on the spot. Okay, so this is your first exercises. So see, everything seems like so simple, right? But kind of uh, different because uh, in Yamaha you have this kind of uh, accumulative uh, progression as you go higher grades. So yeah, that's uh, what you have to keep in mind that you have to remember their progressions and all that. You know, like dominant, double dominant, you know, sub dominant, and all, everything, all that. Okay, and then this is the one with the singing with accompaniment, right? Uh, they already have the chord, so you just go along with your variations for your accompaniment. And then I'm just going to uh, flip through so you kind of know that uh, how it uh, looks like. This is the accompaniment page. So this one, no more uh, cues like when we were like little kids with, you know, like the old books, you have that cues for the chords, right? So not anymore. So you just go directly and read your own uh, key signature and just, you know, play it, sight read it. Okay. So everything is the same, and then this one is uh, your uh, transposition. Okay, so they will tell you how uh, they would like you to transpose. So a perfect fourth up or down, major second up or down, and everything with a uh, different intervals here. And then I think they will directly go to a uh, next grade. Yeah, and then they will go to the next grade and uh, the same thing again with a accumulated, uh, you know, uh, difficulties level, right? It, it will get harder as you go higher levels until grade 3. Okay, alright, so I'm just going to go to the other book. Okay, so this is your paperwork. So this is like your uh, theoretical uh, analysis. It's like you're doing uh, Abrahamson or Trinity theory, so you get used to it actually. But here, um, everything is in uh, U.S. terms instead of U.K. terms. So, if you're not um, uh, aware of that, you have to uh, search that online. Try to write down and take notes of the U.K. term to the U.S. term, so yeah, you get used to it. Okay, so this is the index for grade five, four, and three. So the five here, this is your music theory, and then with the chord progression, this is usual. I think you already know if you're doing MRSM and uh, Trinity. And uh, the next one, the same music theory, and then a uh, four part harmony, so it's, it's a TV, right? And then your chord progressions, and then the last one here for grade three is your arrangement for uh, song. And then chord progression, so the same thing. So actually, uh, here you uh, done your embarrassing amount theory of grade eight. It's it's uh, easier to get used to this one. Just uh, get used to the U.S. terms. Okay, All right. See, so everything here again, they have a lot of Japanese language, but they will translate it to uh, English in U.S. terms. So. Keep in mind with the U.S. terms. See, it's everything is actually as usual, like uh, Trinity and Iberism. So yeah, it's kind of no problem, I guess, if you already done your Iberism and Trinity well, your theory. Um, okay, so this is your chord progression. So they will ask like the chord or like Roman numerals, 
I think we already done that also in uh, Verse M and Trinity, right? Okay, now what is this one? Oh, this is the progression B. So they will ask you to like uh, write down uh, the notes that match that with the chord progression. And then, so it's like, you know, like when you do in your Trinity and Iverson, and they ask you to do like a bass line, you know, or a chord. Yeah, it's kind of like that. You just uh, read the instructions carefully, what they're asking you to do, and it'll be fine. Okay, so everything is uh, mostly the same here, as you can see. I'm just going to show you so until the last part of the book. See, this is your SATB. They ask you to do an SATB arrangement. If you're already done your ABRSM and Trinity, it's the same. And chord progression, just like before. So yeah, you'll do fine with that. And the end of the book. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.